Okay, I have another great video today, and it is an exceptional one because I have a whole bunch of autographs that came super early. Uh, there is one failure, and I will talk about that right away. So, I found some autographs, buy it now on eBay for dirt cheap. Uh, they were probably, I think, I want to say that I got a combined shipping of one whole dollar. I also got all these cards. Uh, for less than TTM price, so if you imagine 60 cents and 60 cents and have to buy the card in the envelope, so then that was cheaper than that. So we'll start off with a failure. There's a Bill McMillian here, Bill McMillan or whatever. I did not get the, I did not order or purchase this Bill McMillian to uh, who somebody I can't remember Pam or something like that. I don't know what that is, um, but anyway, that is a card that I did not order, and all three or four. Three of the corners are smashed really bad. You can't tell there, but there's one there and one there. So I have a feeling that they'll just tell me to keep the card or refund me, or they didn't have the one that sent me that one instead. I don't know. But these are all the good ones here, and I wanted to show you my progress on my 1996 Bowman set here. I don't know if you'll be able to see that, but there's nine right here. Um, the players are not super important at this moment here. Then there's another nine right there. And then we have, so that's 18, and then we have 19. So there's 300 and some cards in the set. I don't remember, 365 or something like that. Um, Chad Alexander, I think was the last. It was Chad Alexander. Yeah, Chad Alexander. So that is important because some of that is what came in today. So you saw the Bill McMillian. We'll start off with one of the better players in the lot. This is, it says, my best, Doug Drabeck. I don't know if it was ever personalized, but it just says my best. So that's really pretty neat. It looks like that's all he ever wrote on there. That's pretty neat. I did not have Drebeck's autograph. I think at one time he was a good signer, but I don't know about now. And it's just a really nice Astros card. Very well composed picture. Then I got Homer Bush. Some of these guys, I looked at Star Tiger and I haven't seen any recent signings in the last three or four years. No idea. Maybe people are just sending and not posting any data. I don't know, but there's Homer Bush. Some of these are on very dark backgrounds, so they're going to be hard to see. This one I just grabbed because I thought it was one of the coolest cards when I was a kid. Well, relatively when I was a kid. That's what, 92, I think? Uh, Mike Benjamin in the throwback uniform with a really dinky, weird-looking glove. I mean, it just looks like a kind of glove that just, anyway, Mike Benjamin signed it down below, or at least we hope he signed it, and that's really pretty neat. I just thought that was a really cool card to have. It's not particularly well-centered there, but maybe that's because of the shadow there. I don't really know, um, but there's the back of the card there, just a regular uniform there, but I thought that was and a decent player, so that is pretty neat. Then I got Brian Banks. Most of these are like first Bowman cards, so they're rookies. And those are going to be the ones that are probably the easiest to grab instead of the veteran players. Here's Jim Bonizzi. And um, he is a Mariner at some point. Usually signed in blue. Uh, I have some signed in black before. Here's Jason Dixon. Another first Bowman card. I think he was one of the top prospects. I just don't remember what he ever did. But there's that one there. Then we have Desi Relaford. little ding in the cord there. I'm not sure if these were TTM or if these were... Uh, via the ballpark, Desi Relaford, another Mariner, not a first card there. Then we have Ryan McGuire, so there's that one. Not to be confused with Reese McGuire, so there's that one, so there's that one. And then we have Jason McDonald for the set there. Uh, the Bill McMillian was supposed to be part of this set here, Jason McDonald. And then Damian Moss. I have another seller that actually had some of these. But it was just about the same price or cheaper to get these because I was doing it all at one time, Damian Moss. I'm putting my hand over kind of a bent corner, but that's all right. I'm not worried about corners on these. This is the one unusual card I picked up here, Alex Gonzalez, best card, best minor league card. I just thought it was a nice looking card there, so I had to grab that one there. It's kind of unusual. Probably cost me at least a dollar or two to just to get that card. Then we have a Kobe Allard. I know his autograph doesn't go for very much, but he's pretty much a, a current Major League ball player, so I figured might as well get somebody current on a roster. I think he's a Rangers now. Don't add, quote me on that one there. And the last one we have is Daniel Robertson. I'm not sure where Daniel Robertson is right now, but he was card number 175 for my Bowman set in 2015. And see, he's number 175. I want to grab the ones without the BDP or the B. 
CP or whatever like that is. I have some of those as well too, but I'm trying to get these. These are the harder ones to get for whatever reason. So there is that one. So that a very nice mail day, five minutes and five seconds. Just like I said, one wrong card. I will get all these things put away. I'm trying to go for stuff that goes directly into binders. That's why I'm trying, and I'm cutting, I've cut way back on cards. I'm not making any card shop runs at all. I made one probably two or three weeks ago, but that is about it. So hope you enjoyed that, and you can still find some really good stuff. Um, all set grabs, and thank you for watching.